The RevLite is an excellent solution for a wide range of both dermal and epidermal pigmented lesions. The photoacoustic energy shatters the pigment with minimal risk of damaging the skin. Most doctors prefer 532 nanometer wavelength for superficial lesions and 1064 for deeper treatments. So we're going to do a 532 peel with your hand, Kim. Uh, we've applied topical for uh, with BLT, benzocaine, lidocaine, and tetracaine for 30 minutes under occlusion. And now we're going to go ahead and we've taken that off and we're going to go ahead and do the 532 laser peel. So I've set my settings on the laser for 532 nanometers, 6 millimeter spot size, and I'm going to use one joule. I have previously done test spots with Kim on her hands at 0.8 joules and 1 joule, which you can't see here. Uh, we did that uh, a week ago. And 0.8 joules was a little light. It didn't really darken her pigment as much as I liked. So we're going to go to 1 joule. And I'm going to set my handpiece here at 532 nanometers and uh, 6 millimeters. I'm going to go on your finger area as well. So you can see I have a little bit of erythema, and that is desirable. This is going to evolve into more significant erythema, and her lentigos are going to pick up and become darker. That You'll also see some perilesional erythema as her lentigos evolve with this treatment. I'm going to go on your finger area as well. And if you can see on close-up, her lentigos are uh, turning slightly whitish colored. And this is a very desirable endpoint. This is excellent. We don't have any petechiae here, which would mean we were pushing our fluence a little too high. But we've got uh, what I call white caps on her lentigos. And that is an excellent, perfect endpoint, really. She's got some moderate erythema to the whole treatment area. She's got some perilesional erythema, which is subtle, but it's starting to evolve. The, quote, white caps are gone, and that is an immediate endpoint once you've, um, once you've treated each individual lentigo with the laser. But those white caps go away pretty quickly, so that's an immediate endpoint with the laser. Some physicians are using the RevLite to successfully manage treatment of melasma, and the RevLite's multiple wavelengths enable greater treatment flexibility. In darker skin types, you can use the 1064, and in lighter skin types, you can use the 532 for a more aggressive laser peel. This is a light Fitzpatrick skin type patient who's got a caffeolet spot behind her left lower extremity, and uh, this is an epidermal lesion. So we're going to treat this with the 532 nanometer wavelength, and we're going to use a 4 millimeter spot size. And that is a nice crisp white spot, and that's what we're going to go for. It's very hard to tell exactly where your beam is, but you're trying to aim for a 20% overlap. That little crisp white spot is not 4 millimeters, so my beam around it is wider than that crisp white spot. So you don't want your crisp white spots to necessarily be adjacent to one another because you might be overlapping your beam a little bit too much. But pretty close together is what you're aiming for. And this is a beautiful endpoint for an epidermal lesion like this. Nice crisp white spots. And this patient should require one, possibly two treatments to fully remove this cafe au lait spot. We have pre-treated her with a topical anesthetic, and you can see she does have a few little petechiae in here, but this is a nice aggressive endpoint, and she probably will only require one treatment uh, for this whole cafe au lait spot. How are you doing there, Britta? Falling asleep. Excellent. Falling asleep is a very nice uh, patient pain scale response. It doesn't get better than that.
Here we have a patient who's a Fitzpatrick skin type 3, and she's got some discrete lentigenes that she'd like us to work on and help get rid of. So we're going to use the uh, 532 nanometer wavelength for epidermal pigmentation. 3, 2, 1, here we go. That's a nice endpoint. Good. Let's work right here. 3, 2, 1. Very nice endpoint. 3, 2, 1. Very nice. 3, 2, 1. 3, 2, 1. Beautiful. That's a beautiful endpoint. Beautiful setting. This is a mole. We're going to avoid treating that. And we're going to treat right up in here. Slightly lighter, but I'm not going to adjust my fluence for that. Can you rotate a little bit more for me? And this will likely get rid of these lentigenes in just one to two treatments. She's got darkening of her lesions, still a little white. She's got some surrounding petechiae, and that is okay because you are being fairly aggressive with this 532 nanometer wavelength, which is targeting the epidermal pigment. So that's an ideal endpoint for her right there.